Hello ladies and gents, this is Kenneth91619. In today's Photoshop tutorial, um, which I'm using Photoshop CS6 Extended Edition, um, you can actually use uh, CS5, CS4 to do this, and possibly earlier versions. But we're going to be doing, um, basically, turning a photograph into a sketch. And we'll be doing this by making an action. So what we want to do first is going to hit Open or you can drag an image in either way it doesn't matter and we're going to be using an m3 image for this um, purpose double click the lock and doesn't matter you don't have to name it anything but i'm going to name it background just name it background then we're going to hit Control j to duplicate it and then we're going to rename this black and white i'm just going to hit black bat or b backslash w and you want to make sure you're this layer select you're going to hit control shift u to desaturate it and then after we desaturate you want to duplicate this layer again we hit, hit control um, j and we're going to rename this to sketch and after you rename this to sketch basically we're going to change the layer mode to believe it's color dodge actually color dodge and it's alright if it looks like this sometimes you'll have an entire white screen depending on the actual image you're using then after that we're gonna go over to layer gonna go down to smart objects and convert to smart object and then after that's done we want to hit filter uh, blur motion blur and we're going to change the angle to 34 and the distance to 387 and hit OK. And after that's done, you want to go back down to your black and white layer. And we're going to duplicate this again by hitting Control J. And we're going to rename this to uh, Detail, like so. And with our Detail layer selected, we want to move it up all the way to the top. And we're going to do Filter. For CS6, we're going to go down to Filter Gallery and open your Stylize tab, hit Glowing Edges, hit the Edge Width to 1, Edge Brightness to 16, the time and is Smoothness to 15, and hit PM. OK. And then after that, you want to hit Control i to invert the image or the layer. Then after that, you want to hit the Blend Mode to Multiply. And then you want to go to the adjustment panel or the adjustment panels and hit levels and change the black to 12, uh, the midpoints to 0 0.8, and then close this down. And then go to your actions panel and then hit stop. And there you have it, folks. Your hand drawn, um, hit zoom. M3, and you can mess around with the settings and um, you know change the different levels. You know it doesn't have to be exactly the same. This happens to be a very high, highly, <laughs> high detailed photograph. So I might have to mess around with the settings a bit to make it look a bit more hand drawn. But you guys get the point, and uh, let's do this full screen so it looks a lot better. And there you have it, folks. It's a photograph to sketch tutorial. Hope you guys uh, liked the video and as always subscribe and uh, take care guys. Peace.